I'm Monsters Abound here, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms and part 15 of the Martung campaign, where we're taking on a little fishing village, which apparently is very heavily defended. Well, needs must. Uh, I will warn you, there might be a bit of lag in this battle because I set a lot of shit on fire, and apparently that lags the crap out of the game. I don't know whether it's just my computer or maybe some settings I've got. I've been playing about with it, but uh, not sure. Anyway, some towers on fire, which is good. Basically, I know people saying like the towers really need nothing, but they're really easy to deal with once you've got the right. Once you've got fire arrows, they're just a piece of piss to take out. So, as you can see, we're setting fire to the tower. That's setting fire to some buildings next to them. Um, I also then decided to set fire to some more buildings because, well, why not? I mean, when in Rome, burn it down. Now, we're doing some good damage with the trebuchet, but we don't have the fire uh, shots with the trebuchet, so we're not doing as much damage as we could be. So we've got a line of spears in turtle formation. That's going to keep us safe from those towers while they burn down. Then we've got the archers behind them. Only three archers, but that's okay. And then on the right flank here, we've got some of these black mountain marauders and some Axe Band G Militia. I'm going to use them to charge this other uh, tower over here, basically under the assumption that the towers can't kill everyone. Probably. I don't know. So lots of shit on fire now. It's difficult to see where you're actually shooting. Yeah, and we do have quite a lot of archers. That's going to be a bit of a problem for us. But, uh, you know, we're doing as much damage as possible. And then we're going to move our spearmen in. We've also got Zheng Zhang and we've also got Zhang Liao. They have the... No, Zheng and Zhang. Zheng and Zhang. Well, yeah, I don't know if the pronunciation's different. Probably. Yeah, so I think it's a mixture of... The fire, because the fire sort of dying away, and maybe just the sheer number of arrow trails. I wonder what happens if we turn the arrow trails off. Fire arcs. Uh, no, that's not fire arcs, is it? Uh, it's probably fine. It's going to be a bit, little bit laggy, but that's just you know, sheer amount of shit going on. So our spearmen have charged in. This is going to be a bit of a meat grinder. It's, uh, yeah, it's like, it's like lagging, but, like, my screen is still smooth as silk. It's just, just the animations it's struggling with. I just fit about with some of the settings and, uh, I don't know. It only ever seems to be on this map, and it stops after everything burns down, so... Obviously, I think it's probably something to do with the fire. And only on this... I only have problems on this map as well, weirdly. Anyway, so Zheng Liao is taken out. Wang Chong, there he is, dealing with that. And it's just, just a grind fest. The enemy are slowly running out of arrows, which is just as well, because we're taking a lot of damage. And we're just trying to force our way through the entrance points. But so far... Not really making much headway. We've managed to take the towers over here and we're pushing our axemen into the settlement. Taking on the G Militia. Uh, we will win this fight, but again, very, very slowly. Now, here is where we can potentially push through. We've got Zheng Jiang here. She's trying to smash her way through these spear warriors. And you can see one unit's already run. Run away. Uh, they've only really got archers to support them here. Some some cavalry is coming over, but we should be able to deal with that. If we can smash through this uh, this entrance here, we can push forward, lock down these units, get our two units of shock cavalry in, who are currently just stood back chilling because there's not much they can do. And once they are into the city, then we can do some rear charges. That will change the situation very, very quickly. There's Zheng Jiang just chopping our way through some lads. I'm fine, thanks. Our strategist is chasing down Wang Chong just because he, he he ran away. And I just want to try and get him. But um, it'll probably be fine. Move, move. 
just got a big if only we had fire shots fire shots in this blob would be oh can you imagine the carnage i mean when we say carnage there's still you know quite a lot of bodies lying everywhere so you know there's that Fine. Wait, did, did May Hao actually actually killed the enemy vanguard? There he is, killed by a fan. That's got that's got a sting. Good job, May Hao. Nice work. Nice bloody work. Okay, we've got some backup over here from some cavalry. Oh, the enemy have got backup from cavalry, some mounted safe militia. But Zheng Zhang should be able to chop away through them. She's not just taking down, just knocking them off their horses easy peasy she's up to 102 kills and this is starting to look quite promising look, the enemy ran. we're still trying to chop our way through uh it's it's going okay could be going better our archers are running out of ammo and we're trying to break this blob over here but it's just they're just throwing more and more units into the breach and it's just just impossible to cut your way through it We've managed to break the units at this entrance to the town. I mean, it cost us, but we did it. So now we need to push forward. Uh, now, Zheng Jiang actually charges forward. And this is probably a bad idea because they've got towers here. And they're going to start popping her with uh, arrows. And that's not going to be very good. So we're going to try and get her out of there. But we're basically, what we're just going to use these, these infantry units here just to lock these guys in place. So that our units of shock cavalry can come into the city because as soon as they're into the city then we can get around behind some of these blobs like this one over here and once we've got them oh it's gonna be great and then our shock cavalry can just basically just run riot throughout the settlement just killing everyone they can Zheng Jiang's joined in uh, to charge this lot in the back and she's up to 144 kills 148, 150, 151 kills. I mean, basically, she's just killing a lot of people. So we've locked these guys down. That's good. Our shock cavalry have come into the city and they've now engaged some of these archers. We didn't get a very good charge on them. And as such, uh, they are fighting back. But we are starting to shift the balance of power in our favour. But we just need to get... We need to deal with these archers so we can get into the rear of these G militia. Although they're already starting to, to waver. Damage sustained. Oh. Have a quick look at... Uh, not why they're not happy. So frightened by enemy units, settlement damage, damage sustained, friends routing, all that kind of good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull one unit of our cavalry out and then we're going to pull the other one out. Now the archers will follow us, but then what we can do is this unit can form up and charge. Now we'll be slowed down by the unit coming like through, but once they actually reach the archers... Yep, that'll do it. The archers now wavering. There we go, they've broken. This is perfect because now... Now... We can come up behind this little blob, although it's you know significantly less blob. These these axemen have been chopping their way through them. But we can form up, and then we can murder these bastards. So we've got one entrance, we've got two entrances to the city, free. Our cavalry can now come and run in behind and capture these towers. Now I forgot these towers are actually 360 arc, um, unlike these ones which are just uh, 180. These can actually fire behind them as well. But if we can take the towers, then we can charge into the rear of these units here. Our infantry is taking quite a beating, but look at this. These units are now starting to break. The blob over here is shattered. Probably can't deal with Zheng Jiang just hacking their way. She's killed 400, uh, 414. Um, so she killed 300 people in the time that uh, it took the the cavalry to wipe out two units of archers. That woman is a bloody lunatic. 
So with the enemy army routed, that means the city is all ours. Uh, yay? Lost a few peeps there, but um. Celebration is due. Let the wine flow. Exactly, the wine flow, and plus, there's going to be plenty more wine for the people who survived that battle. So that's a win. For our labors. And we've got a fishing port, which is nice because fishing will help the recovery of those suffering from PTSD from that horrific grind. Um, let's. Oh, actually, oh, that's mounted patrols. That's what I built last time. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's get them out to foragers. Why not? Let's go. Let's go foraging. Let's go foraging. Mm -mm -mm. The merchants. I would browse their goods. Indeed. Let's. Um. Sorry, a snake attack. A uh, snake escape just then. Right. What? What? Right. We've got. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put an assignment here. We're going to get Lu Feng. He is going to do a little conscription. So let's do that. And oh look, Mayho has leveled up. Now I want flaming shot, so let's do that. Let's do that. And as much fun as having the Black Mountain Marauders is, I just don't think they're as good as having archers. I think we need another trebuchet. And I also think we need. They're quite expensive. I think we're just going to go go with archers. Is that just archers? 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 Fine. Happy with that. I might get rid of these these lads as well. Let's just get some more sword boys. Some swordy boys. Or do we get some... Yeah, okay, let's go swordy boys. And let's switch these out for some marauders. Yeah, okay, happy with that. Happy with that. Right, next, we need to kill you. Now, I'm going to starve you out. Because if you have to come to me, then what's your army? Uh, that's my army. That's your army. Okay, that's fine. Our cause is just and noble. Yeah, I'm, I'm more than capable of dealing with that. Obviously, they'll get some reinforcements, I think, from the horse pastures. Um, but overall, don't think that's going to be an issue. So we'll just we'll just siege them for a little bit there. And of course, is an unquenchable flame. oh, isn't it though? What an unquenchable flame! Let's right. We're we're just going to accept that we might lose some territory here. It's not going to be the end of the world. It's fine. Uh, we do have walls here, actually. We've got the walls, so they'll have to siege that city to take it. And while they're having to siege it, that's going to let us go and deal with Jialong. And once we've dealt with him, we can then head back and uh, deal with these armies. The only slight problem being that because Sun Jian declared war on him, I feel like I'm going to have to deal with his armies and Sun Jian is just going to mop up. But, you know, I think... We've already got quite a lot of territory, so I'm fairly happy with where we are at the moment. Reform-wise, we could get... I nah, don't really care about that. More income from industry? Mm, it's Maybe. Construction cost, construction time. Mm, okay. More replenishment. 15% income from peasantry. Plus 25%. Let's go income from peasantry. That's also going to give us the Commandery Irrigation Works. So let's do that. So that should give us a little bit more cash in areas where we're making money from peasantry, like here. And in fact, what I could do here is I could actually switch this, couldn't I? Because currently we're making 110 income and 3 food. I could switch that to 220 income. It would cost me some food. But considering we're doing things like getting income from peasantry here, it makes sense to just double down on it, in my opinion. So let's double down the peasantry. Let's tax the shit out of them. They won't know what's hit them. Oh. It's going to be taxed left, right, and center. Taxed out the wazoo. Tax the kidneys. 
Tax everything. Talking of taxing everything, hello. Do we really think we've got the upper hand? I disagree. I'm quite pleased we've managed to lock this army down. Because I was a little bit concerned it would just start running around behind my lines, causing all kinds of trouble. And that's kind of annoying. But when they actually fight, you know, yes, this is going to be a tough battle. But actually, I prefer to have a tough battle than just chase bloody bog standard crappy units around all over, or armies around all over the bloody map. So we've got Mark Kong leading his cavalry. Now, I know I've said that commanders are the worst of the, the generals and... You know, that, that still stands. But Markong here does have some good stats. He's got his nice... He's got his heavenly sword, which, yes, gives authority. So, basically, these guys have a lot of morale. And uh, that's about it. And uh, people have said that the sword cavalry is not particularly good. I disagree. I think it's just a different uses than the shock cavalry. The sword cavalry are just slightly more durable. Yeah, they don't have the punch of the shock cavalry. But uh, they're a lot more survivable, especially when led by a commander, because a commander can buff their melee resistance to basically be immune to archers. So they are very good at hunting down enemy archers. They're also not bad at charging people. I mean, they've got 176 charge bonus. That's not bad. I mean, shock cavalry's got what? 334? So, you know, they've got about half the amount. But realistically, do they need... All that, sh all that charge bonus. Because, I mean, you charge a unit in the back, pretty much kills them. So we've got some Black Mountain Marauders heading towards us. Not quite sure what they're planning to do. They are Axe, Cav uh, axe Infantry. So, you know, what was the plan, guys? Other than die? Because you're about to be hit by an express train. Jesus. All right. So, uh, that's that unit dead. Zhao Ji, that's how you say it, is uh, fighting enemy general. He'll be fighting quite a few enemy generals. Uh, in fact, he'll be dealing with two of them throughout the battle. Uh, already starting off quite well. This guy's already... He's, he's lost... He's, he's already started off with less health. So, it should make this a lot easier. Our archers... Are opening fire. They do have a lot of archers themselves. We need to deal with those. And here we come. We're dealing with the reinforcements who are coming back into... Ah, Mark Kong's engaged in a duel now as well. He's going to... Gonna... Now, I, I'm going to keep an eye on this because I'm fairly sure it said Mark Kong had lost the duel. But actually, he won it. So there we go. Sabre cavalry charging into this Sabre, uh, Sabre militia and just carving them to pieces. No, no... Really no contest there. G Militia going down as well. Our cavalry's all over the place. We're hitting their flank and just dealing with the units as we can. However, we have let a unit of mounted Sabre Militia slip through our net. And that is going to be painful. Our archers quickly switch and try and get some shots on, but we're not going to be... Oh! Ow. 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 So, Zhao is dealing with the enemy general. I think he's got this. No problem. Come on, Zhao. You got this. Yep, he's down. Nice work. The enemy unit, what coward. See, that... No, that's wrong. And then Mark Kong down here, who is fighting his... Right, stabbed her through the head. The enemy general falls. No, wrong. Die wrong, wrong, wrong. Mark Kong is fine. Mark Kong won that duel handily. Now he's dealing with some archers. I will defeat you. Move, right, move. Zhao is, is jumping into another Unleash duel. Fury. This time with Kong Xuan Shan, I think. Amidst a pile of bodies. I mean, that's you get, you're going to trip over some people there. It's just a lot of dead bodies all over the place. We should be fine, though. Otherwise, our cavalry have dealt with the enemy army. We've given a lovely little charge here which has uh, just completely annihilated their infantry, and we're dealing with their cavalry as well. You could do better. Amazing that you can both talk and battle. 
So, I mean, these guys have got 347 kills. Pretty good. We've dealt with all the enemy archers. Just hunting them down. A few units of G Militia still wandering around, but that shouldn't be too, too tricky to deal with. And these uh, Black Mountain Marauders getting smashed in the rear. They're going to break and run. Zhao is having a little bit of trouble with this Sentinel. He's struggling to deal with him. I believe him. I, I believe in him, though. I think he's got this. Oof, careful now. Careful now. So I run down the last of these units to make the Porter Resolve easier. We're going to get Markong to jump in here. He's going to come in and help. We're also going to bring in uh, our, our strategist, Chen Lin. There he is. He's going to give him a buff, which... I think it increase it hang on what's this one there we go inspiring surge so it decreases the cooldown so he can use his hamstring ability more often which is going to do some damage and that's going to just just give us the edge go for the legs. and he's down <laughs> I honestly expected more wow brutal I knew Markon could do it. Each victory brings stability to the realm. It really does. Good job. Right, what have we got? Conquen Chan is deceitful. He's direct and superstitious. Can I be honest? Don't really need you. And Luru is handsome, direct, ascetic. Plus two. Uh, yeah, again, I don't really need you. I am not without mercy. You really are not. Um, let's take the cash. Them. Let's take the cash, because I think that will come in useful. If I am to heal China. Strong words from Markong there. Yeah, you're going to lay siege. Uh, that's fine. You're going to go for the Iron Mine again. I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, who's this? Tao Ying... I don't even know how Tao Ying is, so I'm not not super worried about that. Duchy of Wu vassalized Yuan Shu. Oh, Yuan Shu. Yuan Shu. Okay. Well, you know, it's, that's that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. No. Come on, I need to. There we are. Right. Right. Let's deal with this. Boff. Those who do not bend to authority will break upon it. Indeed. Uh, let's just occupy that one. Would be assassin. While your men were establishing order in the newly annexed town, a disgruntled civilian lashes out at one of your officers in a heated altercation, attempts to kill him. Your officer has the wherewithal to defend himself and even manages to kill his attacker, but is badly wounded in the scuffle. Chen Lin. Oh, no. I feel refreshed and whole again. I, well, I don't think Chen does. I answer, my lord. Chen got fucked up. Jeez, that's a bit rough, isn't it? A bit rough, never mind. So, Makong has ranked up, and I think what we're going to do... It, ooh, now. Taking zeal. Hmm. I mean, 10% melee armor-piercing damage for your own army is quite nice. And it increases his melee attack rate by 40%. So, currently, he has an attack rate of 29 which is 29 attacks per, per minute. Yeah. So if we give him that... Oh, he's got two skill points. Holy shit. Uh, in fact, let's get intensity, maybe? Um, bum, 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 bum. What do I like? I mean, the range block chance is really nice, but I think... It, yeah, let's go intensity. Let's do that. So now he has 46 attacks every minute, which... Obviously, the more you attack, the more damage you can do. So, a very strong skill. Maybe too strong? Not sure. I think that would require some testing. We've got a water clock. You can have a water clock to help with your replenishment. And also, we don't have anything else. Uh, Chen Lin is apparently lame. Lame. I mean, just as well that he's not actually like having to fight anyone. With the assassin, commandery secured. Yes, we have, we have secured it. Let's fix that up. Let's do that. And let's take this toolmaker. 
Re okay, well, we'll just starve them out for a bit, I think, because I'm not in any not in any rush. I don't think he's got much of an army left, to be honest. Could be wrong. Don't think I am. Now, we're getting lots oodles of replenishment here, so we should be fine to uh, move on. I think we should be fixed up by the time that's... Uh, yeah, I think two turns, basically, we need replenishment, and I think we can then go and take the small city over there. I'm a little bit concerned about you and Shu being on my borders now as well. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. But it's not it's not a massive concern. So let's get the public order here. And oh, do I want to do that or do I want to do this? Let's do that, because that's gonna give us more cash. And I want I want more cash. And we can send Fugan to do so stimu no, sorry, stimulate my markets, Fugan. Stimulate them. Don't stop. Don't stop stimulating them. And let's get more cash. Seems like that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I'm, I'm getting hammered by corruption at the moment, and I really need to do something about it, but... We'll worry about that in a minute. First, we're going to do this. Now, we can do some sapping. We could potentially attack. I think I'm going to do some sapping. I mean, demand surrender. I didn't think it was going to happen, and it didn't. didn't. I'm not overly concerned if we lose these territories down here. I wouldn't like to lose these ones, though. Now, they are going to attack the iron mine. But, we might be able to defend ourselves there. Here, no, we won't be able to. But they'll have to take a couple of turns to siege us down. So, that kind of buys us a little bit of time. So, overall, I think we're doing okay. Where is Chenbo007? I mean, we could just leave this weapon. We don't really need to be there, do we? I mean, if, if Sun Jian does declare war on us, it's going to be quite the fight. But I think we're okay at the moment. How, how long before we hit King? Ooh, 50 prestige. It's, it's close. It's very close. How are our spies doing? You've actually been picked up. You've been recruited. You have not. But you have. Okay, that's good. So we can actually see some of the details. How many are... Holy shit, he's got a lot of... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven and a half armies. Seven and a half armies. Well, that's a thing. Oh, you've got Sun Jian and Sun Se in the same army. Where's Sun Xuan? Xuan. Xuan, Xuan. Not there. Sun Ren isn't there either. Sun Se is there. Where the... Oh, there, there is. Sun Xuan's there. Sun Ren may not have come of age yet. I can't see her. So maybe she hasn't come of age yet. She doesn't come to age until quite late. Um, but she's quite a strong character. So well worth marrying her if you can get her. Could be worth maybe trying to hunt her down. See if... So we can find out when when she does come of age. Marry her to someone. Hello. Really? You want to go? I... Don't think that's a good idea, but... You actually have a lot of cavalry, to be fair. But... No archers. Feels like a mistake. That's one way to start a battle. So, some enemy cavalry were trying to flank around, and we've just thrown Machao and everything into them. Well, that's happening. Our archers are opening fire. We don't have many archers, but, you know, it's fine. 
We formed up into a shield wall to try and create sort of a defensive formation. And, you know, it helps. Pooh and Mummy are trying to deal with the enemy infantry on this right flank. Slow down this cavalry a little bit. While our archers fire over our heads. We've got some G infantry. Helping out. And our hunters have disengaged from the enemy uh, blob. And they're going to now help out the G infantry with a lovely little charge. Because it looks like this unit of uh, Sabre infantry have wrapped around our G infantry. Uh, which is, you know, bad for the infantry. But great for the cavalry. And it looks like Machao and his cavalry are now free. There's a unit of Sabre cavalry just in their way. They're going to deal with that. And then once that's done, it's basically hunting season is open. The enemy general, this Gian infantry captain, is milling about. Not quite sure what to do. Taking a lot of missile fire. Uh, yeah, they're taking uh, taking too much, basically. They, they're, they're dead. They're outing. They're gone. So we've got a little blob on this flank, on our left flank, and then we've got a much larger blob on our right flank, where Pooh and Mummy are just trying to hold the line there. Uh, but luckily, Machao is now ready to move. All of his cavalry flanking around behind the enemy. And in they come. Just absolutely shattering. I don't blame them, to be honest. Machao, his wife, and his mother now riding down all of the enemy units. I don't think... I mean, the Orchard Resolve is generally quite good. I don't, don't think it called that one, this battle, particularly well, because I really don't know how I could have lost it. That was a bit of a slaughter. Order has been restored. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, you know what? I'm going to ransom. Mercy this time. I need the money. I need all the money to fight big old Daddy Sunjian. Oh, hello. Hmm. Let's have a look at the map. Right, that's quite defensible in my opinion. So, we're going to try and fight that one. Because if even if we can't win it, I think we can do a lot of damage to them. Those archers are going to hurt. We're going to have to keep our G militia back. But we do have some nasty shot cavs. So if we can get that cavalry out of the city and do some hit and run attacks, I reckon we can probably win the battle. But we shall have to find that out next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of the Martung Campaign.